on a mission to review every single new Zara perfume. My thoughts on the Zara Infusion Perfume Collection, Chapter 9. Our pistachio infusion is for the gourmand lovers. When I smell this, I imagine an apple pie that was baked yesterday and is sitting in the fridge next to a jar of cinnamon sticks. At the first spray, I get apple pie, then 10 minutes later, I get a little bit of that nuttiness. But unfortunately, I do not detect pistachio. The nut notes I do smell are gone really quickly. In the dry down, there's a floral that adds some sort of powderiness, I think, but then that's it. Zara pistachio infusion in three words. Apple pie powder. I like this better than Zara Nocturnal Life because it's a little bit nuttier. Killian's Angel Share is blended better and has a beautiful liquor accord that Pistachio Fusion lacks. Zara Sand Desert at Sunset has a stronger iris note and more cinnamon, which I prefer. Pistachio Infusion lasts about 5 hours on me with moderate projection. I give this a 6 out of 10. Zara Ruby Infusion in 3 words. Floral Sugar Marshmallow. This is a cotton candy gourmand lover's dream. At the first spray, you get a sharp orange cotton candy. You get some sugar, more sugar, boom! There comes a, mush there comes a marshmallow. At some point, Zara Ruby Infusion becomes more floral, but because it maintains that sticky sweetness, I can't tell what flowers I smell. This is not a unique perfume profile. Compared to others, Ruby Infusion is a sharper fragrance that is not as well blended as the more expensive alternatives. Killian Love Will Be Shy is similar, but it has that beautiful orange note that Zara cannot replicate. Oriana Parfums de Marly is more balanced and floral. Zara Velvet Shadow was more similar, maybe with some more citrus and not as strong as Ruby Infusion. If you have any of the others I just mentioned, you do not need this. I don't think this perfume is appropriate for the warmer months. As someone who tends to avoid candy perfumes, I enjoy this in the late winter and spring, but it's too sticky and too sweet for the heat. Zara Ruby Infusion lasted about 9 hours on me, however, with medium to strong projection. I rate this a 7 out of 10. Zara Juicy Infusion is the perfect name. Imagine wearing your favorite jasmine perfume and picking up a freshly made cold pressed juice on your way to work. That is what I smell. At the first spray, I get hit with apple and pear. The jasmine note comes almost immediately, but is sweetened by that black currant to prevent it from getting too sharp. Zara Juicy Infusion has a very shampoo vibe, which I like. What I don't like is longevity. This only lasted about three hours on me. Zara Juicy Infusion in three words, shampoo, apple, floral. I consider this crowd pleasing, work friendly, and blind by safe. It's a basic and boring fruity floral, but I won't deny that it's easy to wear. I rate this a 4 out of 10. Zara's Secret Infusion is another fruity floral, but this time you get a little bit more musk and woodiness. It opens with a pear, but since it lacks apple, it's more subdued and not as fruit forward as Juicy Infusion. Secret Infusion, though not at all a tropical perfume, to me has some sort of tropical quality that's unnamed. Uh, in three words, Zara's Secret Infusion is tropical pear air. The florals come almost immediately and are softer and sweeter. There is no jasmine or any white florals here. This is something that's more fresh and slightly airy here. Unfortunately, the performance is bad. Secret Infusion lasted one and a half, maybe two hours on me. This was almost no projection. It's light, it's blind by safe, but I might as well be wearing nothing at all. I rate this a 4 out of 10. Which one was your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. My next post will have some perfume layering combos for the Zara Infusion Chapter 9 Perfume Collection. Plus I have reviews for most of the new Zara releases coming soon. Until next time, I am Pearl Denise and this is Beauty Body Pearl.